Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make sarsoka sag along with steaming hot makaidi roti and a dollop of butter on it. Actually, this is a traditional Punjabi sabzi made with mustard leaves and spinach and fenugreek leaf and served with makaidi roti like this. And this dish mostly made and relished in winter as mustard leaves are easily available during winter. Here I have sarsoka sag mustard green leaves and uh, fresh fenugreek leaves, palak, spinach leaf. You have to sort up the leaves, wash them two, three times. And uh, you have to add all these leaves into pressure cooker. You have to roughly chop them. Here I have sag, which is washed. I'm gonna add to a pressure cooker, uh, chop them roughly. Same way, I'm going to wash the spinach leaves and add to a pressure cooker, roughly chop them, all the leaves. Same way, clean the fenugreek leaves. I'm going to chop and keep half portion for the later use. Half portion I'm, I'm going to add to a pressure cooker with along with other leaves. Four green chilies. Little water. Salt. Close the lid and cook for two or three whistles. I love the pressure to reduce naturally and open the top. Meantime, just uh, dry toast uh, maize flour and keep them aside. We'll use half portion for to blend. Half portion we'll keep for later use. And uh, keep the sag water aside and transfer the cooked sag leaf to a blender. Keep this water. We're going to use all the water. And allow this to cool. Add very little water the same sag water and maize flour, half portion of the maize flour and coarsely ground and set them aside. We don't want paste, we just want exactly this consistency and transfer to a bowl and keep them aside. Now we need chopped garlic, grated tomatoes, coriander powder, and Kashmiri chili powder, garam masala powder, and fennel seed powder. Lots of butter, lime juice, and half portion of reserved maize flour. Now let's cook. Heat oil in a pan. Heat oil or ghee or butter, add garlic, stir fry them until they're nice slightly brown. Add grated tomato, give it a stir, cook until they're nice and soft. Add all the spices, spice powder, stir them for a minute. Add maize flour, give it a stir. If it is too sticky at the bottom, you can add reserved uh, sag water add very little water and cook this on a very low flame add half portion of chopped fenugreek leaf which we reserved and kept and give it a stir until you get a nice fragrant of methi Add big chunk of butter and very little oil or ghee and give it a stir. Cook for one or two minutes. Add sag puree. Mix and cook on a very low flame. Add 
add reserved sag water little at a time give it a stir sugar lime juice give it a stir and close the lid and cook on very low flame for 5 to 6 minutes after 5 to 6 minutes add butter give it a stir and ready to enjoy with makhai the roti this is so simple and easy to make this mouth watering sarso ka saag i'm going to enjoy with garam garam makhai di roti come on let's make makhai di roti now let's make makhai di roti wheat flour maize flour all the measurements are description box salt oil or ghee mix them properly add warm water while you kneading little at a time knead with the clean hand After making a soft dough, allow to rest for twenty minutes. Cover and keep for twenty minutes. Make equal size, medium size balls, and dust the dough with some flour and flatten it into a roti with hands or with a rolling pin, like this. Perfect. when the tawa or pan hot enough add put the roti on it and press and cook all sides till you get nice brown spots all over like this now we can go ahead and add very little ghee or butter or oil very very little oil and cook on the both sides same way I'm going to add dollop of butter and transfer it to a plate and we're going to enjoy this with sarso ka saag. I hope you like this recipe. Love you guys and God bless you. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Ciao.